Hey, so if you're watching this, you probably know that building custom video players for your Webflow website or otherwise can be a bit tricky. Now, for a long time, me and some other devs that I've known have relied on Vimeo, which provides their API and allows you to build these custom players with your own controls and playback, everything that you want, basically. Um, but the thing that's been bugging me is you saw that when I refreshed and I click play, it takes a couple seconds to load. Now, this is a 300 megabyte video, so you might not think too much about it, but there is better, nicer and faster ways as well as cheaper. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys a new video format that I recently discovered. I'm going to show you guys how to transform your MP4 into that new format. And we're going to build a custom player with it. And I'm going to show you the realistic costs of using the CDN that I'm about to use. Now, if you're new here, my name is Ilya Vanek, and I'm the co-founder of Osmo, which is a dev toolkit that I'm building with my friend. All right, we have that very same video here loaded as an HLS one, and I'm gonna reload without cache, holding shift. And if I click, the video just plays instantly. And this is that same 300 megabyte video. It just immediately ramps up. Now, the thing that powers this is HLS. HTTP live streaming. And this is a very similar concept as uh, YouTube and Netflix use. What it creates is a playlist from your video with different file formats or different bit rates, I should say, different qualities. And then depending on someone's internet connection, um, the right for bit rate is chosen. And then the video segments from that video are being served on demand. So instead of loading one huge MP4 of hundreds of megabytes or even gigabytes, if it's a long tutorial like this one that you're watching now, YouTube will serve it in the bit rate that best matches your bandwidth and then serve it in segments. So the video are going to be cut up into chunks or so-called TS files wrapped in a .m3u8 file. This is Apple's uh, streaming format, by the way. Um, and it's amazing. It's it's so fast and found a really, really cheap way to get this done. And it's super simple for you as a dev, but also for your clients to manage in the future. So let's hop into it. And for this, we're going to use bunny.net. There is going to be a link in the description. And as there is also a video already on my channel uh, with a bit more global background information about using Bunny as a CDN for regular MP4 video hosting. But basically, if you want a slightly longer video or want to have your own custom controls, an MP4 isn't really that suitable anymore. And this is so much better. So what we're going to do is we're going to head into the stream section here on the left hand side after creating your account, of course. And you'll see that I already have a tutorials video library. I'm going to add a new one and I'm going to call it YouTube for the sake of this demo. And it's going to ask me to choose geo replication. And geo-replication basically means into how many data centers your videos are going to be replicated. Meaning that if visitors all over the world are going to want to load your content, it's going to be served from the closest replication center. So the more you have or the closer your visitor is, the faster your video will load. So kind of depending on the amount of traffic and from what regions you expect them to be visiting you from, you can choose to add more or fewer replication regions. Um, the costs are very cheap. Again, I'll dive into real costs later. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to leave this as is, since this is only for the sake of this tutorial. And I now want to use this 500 megabyte MP4 that I've got on my website as a demo. As an HLS player, um, I will need to get that .m3u8 file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload it here into Bunny. And it's going to start working down here and it's going to take a little while. So I'll be right back. All right. So that took maybe 10 minutes, I think quite long, but like it of course has to do all the transcoding for us and create all the segments that I was just talking about. Um, but now we have our uh, M3U8 file here. If we open that up in Bunny and um, there is a whole bunch of controls. Um, but I think the most important one is our HLS playlist URL. So if we copy that and I would show you guys in my, I want to show you. Okay. So the file ends on .m3u8. Um, 
This is the one we need. Uh, Bunny did all the hard work for us. You just simply drag your MP4 into it, and this is the one that we'll want to use. Now, before I'm going to dive into, I think, the more detailed stuff, I think you guys want to see how to use this. So on Osmo Supply, I'm going to go back to the, to the homepage, of which I'm the co-founder, what I was talking about earlier. We have over 100 resources already. We're adding new stuff every week, and we're going to use a resource now to create this player. Um, but since it's paid, we're giving you guys the first month for free by using the code down in the, in the description, um, which I, th I think is our biggest deal yet. It's only going to last for the first three days after this video is live. Um, so make sure to be quick, tell your friends, um, because it's a really good deal to get like tons, like over 100 resources, as well as all these bunny HLS setups. We're going to go to the advanced player here. Uh, which is the one that I was showing you earlier, you know, the one that was launching so snappy. This is the one that we're going to use as well with the play button, everything over here, the progress bar that is scrubbable, and then audio and full screen controls. Um, in Osmo, here we have our documentation. And since I'm going to be building in Webflow, I'm going to be in the Webflow tab. If you've watched all this way and are not a Webflow user, don't worry. There is a code tab as well, which gives you the HTML and CSS setup um, for you. Um, JavaScript, of course, will be the same. So the setup requires an external script, which is the hls.js library. The reason behind that is um, the HLS format is not supported by all major browsers natively yet. You see there is only about 65%. Chrome, Edge, Firefox, Opera, um, not all of them are red. So what we need is this library, amazing library, um, that allows you to still use that format um, in browsers that don't support it. Um, so if we're going to head back into Osmo, the first thing that I'm going to do is copy this CDN script. And then in Webflow, I've already got an empty project um, just with a demo video rep uh, at the size that I want to have my player in. And I'm gonna, I've got a quick embed here to show you guys um, how to add the code. Now, of course, typically I would do this in a Slater file or some external JavaScript file and not necessarily in Webflow, just because I think the code editor here isn't super nice. It's quite cramped. Um, but again, for the sake of the demo, we'll just quickly use this. Um, since I believe most of you guys will be able to manage your way with this. Um, so I'm going to add the CDN script, head back into Osmo. And then step one here is to copy the structure to Webflow. So I'm going to click that exit out of this, and then inside of my demo video wrap, I'm going to paste it. And now I see that I have my complete bunny player. And then the main thing is the actual bunny player div. This has a whole bunch of attributes. And then the main one is the data player SRC or source. And this is where we want to add our um, own HLS playlist URL. So I'm going to copy that head back into Webflow. I'm going to replace that by this link. Uh, the placeholder, I'm not going to bother right now. You could upload your own. Uh, we've made that a like an actual image here in the setup, um, just so that it's much easier for you and your clients to use the Webflow Asset Manager instead of also messing with hosting the, the, the image somewhere. Um, so the placeholder goes in here. I'm going to head back into Osmo. And then step two is going to be to add the custom JS. If you're unsure how to do this, by the way, we have instruction videos, but I'm now going to copy head into my embed and paste it in here. As you see, it's a whole bunch of lines, 453. I'm going to save. Now I'm going to scroll all the way down to step three, where it says add custom CSS. Of course, we also have styling. That's going to take care of all the play states and the pause states. That is going to be done in CSS. So I'm going to paste that in here. Again, this I would also typically put into a Slater file since it's so much easier to like have a large file and be able to search in it. But for now, we'll leave this as is, save and close. And what the CSS is going to do is that we're going to have like a whole bunch of statuses. We're going to have, um, I believe there, yeah, there's a hover state. So if you're going to hover on the video and then leave your mouse, the player is going to fade out, you know, all the good stuff that's going to make it feel into a very premium video player experience. All this is explained here on the implementation tab in Osmo. Um, I know it's a lot, it seems daunting, but just, you know, we have the titles and just read through the areas that you're interested in. 
or simply use it as is. Because with the CSS and the JS in place, I can now go ahead and publish this. And then if we open up the page and play, we have my video. And this is a 500 megabyte video being loaded instantly. We saw that it was maybe grainy for like a couple seconds, um, and, but it was immediately playing. I could listen to it, I could watch it, and it was immediately interactive. I'm gonna mute myself. Um, and an interesting thing that I wanna open up here is the network tab. So we're gonna reload the page. And before playing, the thing that we'll see is that the playlist and video.m3 U8, so the playlist files, they're being loaded. They're only like a kilobyte, so they're super tiny. And the interesting thing is gonna happen when we're gonna load. I'm gonna mute myself again. We're gonna see um, these video chunks, the TS files, are gonna be loaded. You see there is a couple hundred kilobytes each, and only when necessary, they're gonna be loaded. So now if I'm gonna skip ahead, way in this video, we're gonna see that suddenly it's gonna skip into the video 120s and towards the end. It's gonna load into the 150s and this is like really good, I think, <laughs> um, because like you don't have to load this mega video and it's only gonna serve whatever it needs. Now this is a, a player that we call the advanced one since it has all the controls, but in our vault, We've also uploaded a very basic player, which is simply play and pause. We have a background video, because if you ever run into a project where your client is like, yeah, but I really need the background video to be of higher quality, and you already have a 20 megabyte MP4 in the background, and you know that it's not really good, this is also a really good solution. Um, just put an HLS file in, and the video is only gonna be served when you need it. We pause it when it scrolls out of view, all the good stuff. And then we've also recently uploaded a Lightbox version um, where you can see the live preview of this one. So I'm going to load video A and it's going to auto... I'm going to mute that thing. And it's going to autoplay all the nice things because it's not an iframe, like it's an actual HTML5 video. Um, and I'm going to close it, open up another one. And there we see all these videos are loading very instantly. So we have these and hundreds of other resources, again, First month is for free if you use the discount code below. Um, oh yeah, before I'm gonna close the video, I was gonna show you guys realistic costs of this all. I almost forgot. So if we're gonna head into the billing tab of Bunny, we're gonna see that my usage in September was about $1.38. <laughs> and speaking of usage, in the full month of September, we have served over 280 gigabytes of video and almost 800,000 requests. Now we have t lots of tiny MP4 videos in the vault, of course, for these like video previews that you see here. These are MP4s because we've massively compressed them. This is the perfect thing for it. But like all the major videos are gonna be HLS. Um, and like for all this bandwidth, we're being charged about a dollar. Whereas Vimeo, I believe is like 20 euros at least a month if you need like over a hundred gigabytes of storage, which you will very quickly need if you have a large video. Um, so yeah, Bunny, so much cheaper, so much nicer to use. Your clients can just drop in an MP4, be patient for a couple minutes, and then they will have the HLS playlist to use themselves. They can put it into the CMS. You can load it into the custom attribute. Everything's going to be there for them to use. So I hope that you've learned a new technique with this video. Um, again, if you're more curious about Bunny CDN in general, definitely check out the other video on my channel. Um, and I'll hopefully see you around in our Osmo community.